Hey, old man. You were acting all tough earlier today when giving me those instructions, right? I think you'd better think twice next time before doing that. Excuse me? What are you talking about? I think you know who I'm the daughter of, right? If you keep something like that up with me, then you'll never have a chance of moving up here. <laughs> moving up? I know that you're the daughter of Mr. Sanchez, but I had heard from your manager that your attitude is something that needs to be adjusted. And so I was around today to see how things were going with you and to give you some help. That right there! I'm telling you that the way you're talking to me is not okay. I'm not the kind of person you're allowed to boss around like that. I am the daughter of this department's director. Please look at the position you're in and think if it's really okay for you to talk to me that way. Are you sure that you're not the one that should be looking at the position you're in and getting a better understanding of it? Excuse me? Everyone here knows that the only reason you were hired into this company is because of the connection you have. But I'd like you to stop thinking that gives you any power over me. You are just another new hire to the rest of us. You should be thanking me for taking the time to give you some pointers today on becoming a better employee. Being as blunt as you are with all your co-workers and management is not acceptable here. You... Do you even know who my father is? I told you I do. How many more times are you going to ask me that? I don't think there's any reason for you to ask me that, though. And did you not understand the meaning of the message I just sent you a second ago? Right now, you are acting in a way that your father, Mr. Sanchez, is not happy with. At this moment, there are plenty of people here that are upset with your father because of you. They're not upset with him. <laughs> They're all afraid of him, and so they won't do a thing about me being his daughter. I'm really not sure why you keep acting like you know better than me here, but I'll have my father come and tear you a new one. <laughs> I'll have him do that with you. Huh? Why would he do that to me? If he learned about the way his daughter acts while being here, he'd be disappointed. He's a very serious and diligent man. I have no idea what you're wanting to say here, but old man, think about the position you're in for me, please. If you act out any more with me, then I'm going to make you regret ever working for this company in the first place. <laughs> I wonder if you could really do that. For the time being, Faye, I would like you to continue your work here with a more acceptable attitude, please. I am allowed to ask this from you, and I don't want to have to ask you again. So make sure to change the way you're acting here, or else things will not go so well for you. I think you can understand what I'm asking here, right? I have not a single clue what you're asking me. I don't even have the time right now to talk with you, old man. You were the one that began texting me, hence my reply to you and your attitude. I, myself, am a very busy man and have things to return to, so I'll be going. Tomorrow, you'd better act like a well-trained dog, old man. <laughs> I'm only 40 years old, Faye. Well, compared to me, you're old as a rock. <laughs> Please think about what I've said to you today. If you don't, you'll have to bring some lube to work with you before getting talked to by him. <laughs> Perhaps it'll be you that'll have to have a talk with your father. I think that would be much more beneficial to the company. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Was that coffee pretty delicious? <laughs> you really went and spilled coffee on me now, huh? What exactly made you think something like that was a good idea? Do you know who my father is? You're a rude one. You already asked me that question twice yesterday, and here you come again with it. My father is the director of this department. I have more power than you do because of that. So do you think you can stop trying to talk to me like you have been all the time, old man? I had to spill that coffee on you today because you wouldn't stop complaining about me. I'm going to have to teach you directly then that you have no power here. And not even your dad, being the director, will save you. What are you talking about? Have you gone insane now, Grandpa? I was going to tell my father about how you acted towards me today and have him chew you out. But then I decided spilling coffee on you would be more effective, and man was it funny watching you react to that. <laughs> I think I'll forgive you now. But don't you ever come up to me saying weird things again. Was the weird thing I said to you today... Me giving you some instructions? That's right. What is it with you and thinking you can tell me what to do? You are not the kind of person that's allowed to talk to the director's daughter that way. 
You should be thankful that I was willing to forgive you after I spilled my coffee on your head. <laughs> what do you think you are doing to this company CEO? Huh? The CEO? This is your father speaking with you right now. Huh? Dad? You come down to my office right now, you idiot. Hold up, uh, Dad? Why are you upset with me? What's this about the CEO? I just had a word with your dad, and I believe he wants you to come down and speak with us. <laughs> my dad was super pissed at me, but I had no clue about you, and so all of this was bound to happen. I'm done with you, Faye. After how hard your father went into you over how you've been treating me, you still don't understand the seriousness of the situation? You seem pretty full of yourself when in his office. Are you going to listen to what he told you, or not? But I was thinking you were just some old man that's useless to the company. However, you're saying you've been the CEO this whole time? Are you sure you're not a fraud or something? A fraud? Stop trying to be funny, Faye. It's because of what you've done today that your father had to get on his hands and knees and apologize to me. Huh? Why did my dad do that? I told you guys that I just didn't know. Just assumed you were an old man on his way out of here. You not even knowing who your own CEO is definitely is something I should have expected from you. But everyone else never spoke to you like you're the CEO of this company. So that means you're just a fraud, right? Can you please stop with the fraud talk, please? Is that the only response you have to me now? Well, it's the truth, though, right? Everyone just calls you Craig, so I assumed you were nothing more than a base-level employee. And that's because I don't like being called anything besides my first name. You really don't want people calling you Mr. Turner or, or Sir? Why not? Would you give up on trying to cover up the fact that you're in fact a fraud? I would rather just have everyone call me Greg. I enjoy running a company where everyone can feel close to one another and don't have to feel distant when coming to talk with me. And it's that kind of stupid idea that made me think you were nothing more than an old man. If I'd actually known that you were the CEO of this place, then I would have never did what had to be done to you. What are you talking about, Faye? Whether I'm the CEO or not, you pouring coffee on someone above you is not acceptable. Actually, pouring it onto anyone is unacceptable. I have seriously had enough of you here. Do I really have to tell you that for you to understand? That is supposed to be common sense to everyone as an adult. I really do not know what the hell you keep going on about. Can you explain all of that to me again in a language that I can actually understand? Is that what you want? I totally overlooked you being the type of person that needs everything explained to you in a childish manner for you to understand it. Let me tell you that just because you're here because of your connection to your father, that does not mean you get any sort of special treatment. And you never seemed to understand that, did you? You seem to have thought that you could do whatever you want because you're the department director's daughter. But that's not the case. And I, the CEO, shouldn't have to be telling you something as basic as that either. All you've shown to me today is that you don't have an ounce of common sense in that head of yours. Well, you can say all you want, but I'm still young. Everyone else that was hired in with you is your age. The age of the people that are hired is not the problem here. But really, I never expected the day to come that one of my very exceptional employees would have to come apologize to me the way your father did. Making my dad apologize to you like that is screwed up, by the way. Are you Satan or something? Why would you do that to my poor dad? I totally forgot. You need things explained to you like you're a baby. You did something very bad today, and your daddy had to say sorry because you don't care about him. Does that help? Huh? It's because of you that your father had to come and apologize like that to me. I've even explained that to you in your language now, yet you're acting like you still don't understand? It's my fault that my dad had to do that? So that means you still don't understand what you did to me? I cannot believe there are people your age that act like you are. You spilled coffee onto the CEO of this company on purpose. Don't you think your father getting all up in arms like that with you was justified? Well, I guess that was a little too far now that I think about it. 
But it wasn't like the coffee was that hot, right? If you don't have any injuries, then is there really a point for getting upset with me? I think we were more surprised at what you've done to me than anything else. You're fired, Faye. I can't deal with your crap anymore. Huh? I'm the one being fired? Why me? You're wrongfully firing me. What is wrong with you, old man? You can't fire me without a good reason. Oh, come on. Say please. I really don't want to have to sit here all day explaining obvious things to you. Did you seriously not see anything wrong with pouring coffee on me like you did today? I am not going to allow someone as ridiculous as you to continue working for me. I'm tired of you acting like an idiot. But I also don't want to watch your father have to apologize for your actions again. Do you really think I'm the one that did that to my dad? I didn't do anything to cause him to become embarrassed by me. I'm going to need to call my doctor tonight. Need a refill on my prescription because of how terrible of a headache you've given me. I'm sorry, Faye, but you literally spilled coffee not only on your boss, but your father's boss as well. And you did it on purpose. What makes all of that even worse, though, is that the coffee ruined my new suit that I had imported from Italy. All of that right there should be more than enough to get you to come apologize to me. Yet, for some reason, you have no desire to do so yet. That right there shows me enough. I do want to apologize. Sorry! I had to tell you to apologize to me for you to do that. But I apologized, right? So we can be done with all this now. Can't you see that I've learned whatever lesson you wanted to teach me and I can go back to work now? Faye, I wish there was a hotline I could call to help you get the help you need, but there isn't. So the best thing I could do for me and everyone else here is fire you. Huh? If you do that, my dad's going to be pissed at you next. You don't even have the right to fire me even though you're the CEO. Oh, I could start going around saying that you overworked me and some other things to make you get fired. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you haven't been here long enough. Only a few weeks, and that's not enough to make such a claim. And since there was a reason to fire you in such a short time frame, it will be understood that what you did was very unacceptable within my company. And then that claim of yours will go right into trash. I think trying that would be a huge waste of your time, but do whatever makes you happy. What? So then I'm really being fired right now? Is my dad okay with you doing that to me? Uh, no way, right? Well, if he makes it any better, your dad said he'd agree with me firing himself as well as you. Huh? My dad said that? He felt responsible for what you done, but I'm not going to fire him. He is one of my best employees, and losing him because of his mentally handicapped daughter's actions wouldn't be fair. So I think your dad is totally alright with me firing you. So go and grab all of your things off your desk, and leave my building. Just a bit ago, when you met with your father and I, you didn't even bother saying and apologizing to me then. So I'm afraid you don't have anything to say to me directly now either, nor will you listen to me. Hold on, please. I wanted to apologize to you then, but I just assumed then wasn't the best time since my dad was so angry. I was just going to wait for a better time. Well, this is the result of you misreading the atmosphere. Ugh, good luck at whatever company hires you next. But it won't be any company in this part of town, I'm afraid. I'll make sure to explain what happened with us that led to your very early termination. I think finding a job around here, after this, is going to be difficult for you. Huh? Wait, if you start going around and telling other companies about me, I'll be screwed. And now my dad's starting to tell me to leave the office and go away. He doesn't even want me going back to my parents' house now. If all of this is for real, then I'll be royally screwed, Craig. Not my problem. I have a headache now, so I'm not going to think much about your future. The best I can say for you to do now is to go back to elementary school and start over again. Now, I need to get going to the pharmacy to grab more meds for my blood pressure. Can you hurry up and get lost already? So you're going to be just like my dad? How am I supposed to go back to elementary school at my age? Jesus. <laughs> that was a joke, Faye. I swear, the actual thing you need to do is go book yourself into the nearest mental clinic and have them do a psychiatric exam on you. But that's up to you. There's nothing left I can do with you now, and thank God for that. Now, thank you for your two and a half weeks here. 
You're just going to leave me? Uh, and I'm pulling the cost of my new imported suit from your next paycheck. I mean, your only paycheck. <laughs> huh? Are you kidding me? It's either that, or you pay me right now for the suit. At least be happy that you'll still be getting a hundred or so dollars from me. <laughs> Wait a minute! Please, think about all of this! My head hurts too much to think. Bye. There's a clinic down the street you can walk to that takes people without appointment. So go there. In the end, Faye was fired from her job and thrown out of the office building. And not even her dad said anything else to her, instead choosing to completely forget about her as his daughter. He and his wife then cut ties with her and told her to never enter their house again. And, as Craig had said to Faye, there would be little chance of a company near his office being open to hiring her, and so she was forced into a tough situation which her life teetered on. The following day, she came back to the office when Craig was walking into work and tried to apologize and ask for another chance. But he lashed out on her hard and forced her to pay for his ruined suit right then and there with whatever she had on her. And once she had emptied her purse of pretty much any money she had, he had security come escort her outside the office complex, and that was the last time she was ever seen by anyone. I'm sure that some of this had to do with her being spoiled at birth, but there is also the fact that she really did seem to have something wrong with her. Everyone at the office, including Craig even, hopes that wherever she is now, she's getting the help she needs.